Victor Hugo had a, a habit of asking his servant to steal his clothes every morning. This meant he had to get his head down, he had to work. Uh, the fight actually was with himself. Uh, have you ever fought with yourself? I bet you have. We boys scraped a chair over the kitchen floor, climbed onto the table to reach the biscuit jar, and his mother heard the noise and called out, What are you doing in there? And with a hand in the jug, the child said, I'm fighting temptation. He was battling for control. How do we win control over our own lives? Well, we have the power of choice. We can decide, but uh, is that so easy? A man went into a shop to buy some pyjamas and he noticed a label which said shrink resistant. And he wondered, what exactly does that mean? So he asked the assistant, what does it mean when it says shrink resistant? Does it shrink or does it not? And she said, sir, it means that it will shrink but it doesn't really want to. A bit like us, we can decide. We can make changes in our lives, but do we really want to? I suppose there's another kind of battle that we face now and again. You know the kind of day when nothing goes right? The kind of day when staying in the bed seemed to be a good option. Jesus actually faced those days now and again. Was he tempted to go home, slam the door, sulk, lick his wounds, drown his sorrows with the hope that tomorrow would be a better day? What he did was to take time out, perhaps go into the hills and, and pray. The problem is that much of what we have to do is often a waste of time, or what we choose to do is often a waste of time. I know it and you know it. I go out in the afternoon and when I come back there's been a veritable tsunami of emails and I groan. But I answer them all faithfully and sometimes I wonder, do they really matter? And I think I know the answer. In Montgomery, Alabama during the bus boycott week, the story is told of an old black woman. She walked every day from her home to her work and her family thought it was far too much for her. But she was not going to stop until the bus company changed their policy on segregation. When she was even encouraged by Martin Luther King to take the bus because of her age, she said, my feet are tired, but my soul is rested. One of those days, we all have them. Jesus took time out to pray, to think, maybe as well to leave his burdens with God. Why don't you join us and do exactly the same? There will be a live stream service at Loman Parish Church at 30. We cordially invite you to tune in. God bless you and yours this week and all. And thanks for watching.